Is over. Good afternoon. And now let us go back to reality, or rather to the state of Slovenia, where this conference is taking place. Let me tell you that I will not dwell on numbers, not because our numbers uh, are not as uh, difficult and complex when it comes to the rate of unemployment, but rather because uh, I prefer not to deal with these numbers. Why? Because I am an entrepreneur. I was an entrepreneur in the times of the former Yugoslavia. So I set up a company 23 years ago. I have to tell you that when I have been listening to all the presentations today and yesterday, I could say that I probably would be in a position to amend my presentation. Why? Because it is very difficult to highlight the main aspects of Slovenian entrepreneurship. Because throughout this period of 20 years, we had different periods of crisis. First, we declared independence, which was a crisis. That then we changed the system of the economy. The culture of work, of hard labor, was very present in our system. However, the culture of cooperation, not as much. Then when it comes to entrepreneurial potential, it has been present throughout history, but then at a certain period of time it ceased to exist. We resorted to capitalist system with tycoons. We had some true entrepreneurs. I'm also among those, but we kept hearing uh, different negative remarks. When I asked the minister on one occasion whether it is possible to obtain the data on entrepreneurs establishing a company 15 years ago and whether they have distributed profits or not? Or what about family property? Did they invest in the developing a company or not? This data cannot be found. I don't have access to such data. And often we use um, erroneous terminology, namely that entrepreneurs are doing a bad job. We just keep hearing that they are employers, tycoons. Different concepts are being added and they do not make much sense. When I heard that our cooperative is not, a, is not a development cooperative, but an entrepreneurial cooperative, because entrepreneurs are also marginalized as a group we are. Dummies, because we invest into our own capital, we pay contributions, but we have zero social safety and security. So when it comes to the cooperative sector, if I use the form of uh, united work because we had this self-governing system, cooperatives were well developed. Why? Because you want to find social security and you want to craft a future for yourself. Hence our cooperative has been set up with the view of entrepreneurship in mind and what is our basic mission to create jobs. It is not possible to create jobs in any other way but to show self-initiative. And entrepreneurship, by definition, is something which calls for initiative. And we can introduce changes in the area such as ecology, ergonomy, and ethical economy. Lately, this has been extremely visible. Yesterday, we heard the cooperative system has different values when compared to other values. I would like to apologize, but values are just one and only, and every ethical work has to be ethical. This goes for companies, individuals, uh, and society, politicians as a whole. So to go from there, our three areas of action, so our forest, this is the highest organization within the ecosystem. Everything is reused and used. And we learned that we have a number of good examples. We have a long-standing tradition. In the state of Slovenia, we have tradition and competencies. When it comes to visiting foreign countries, uh, such as England, well, we went there to pick up our prize, our award, because we want to seek out new business models. It was not just enough to re merely stick to cooperative rules. This was not our sound basis to remain viable in Slovenia, which is why we resorted to a different business model. It is quite simple. It centers around innovation. It consists of the following. 
we take things from nature and we also stem from nature as individuals. So in addition to ecology, we speak about ergonomics, about uh, ethical jobs, and in order to make them more humane, we need to have new knowledge, new competencies. But these knowledge and competencies are not new. And we speak about new professions, new vocations, which are not new, in fact. Sometimes you use a different term and uh, you have been given a boost for the market and without that you cannot in fact do away with certain barriers. You are currently confronted with these barriers on account of accounting, politics, personal interests, etc. And we also learned one thing, namely we should not reinvent the wheel, especially uh, when it comes to basic assets. So what about these basic assets, our base capital, base equity? We didn't successfully apply for European funds, which is why for more than 30 years we had to do our homework. So this is the most difficult part. And from there we learned that we have these assets available in Slovenia, but nobody makes use of it. So what we did? We went out and we were seeking those artisans uh, who don't uh, have anybody to succeed them. And therefore, we also joined forces. We seeked, we uh, sought uh, different varieties. We also reached out to the handicapped people. They were trained. This was on the job training. Uh, and we were given uh, new products. But for these new products, we needed a market. We needed to resort to different marketing tools. We also wanted to have Slovene customers and buyers. We had the so-called uh, visiting shops. We used the cycles. We also attended a theater festival. We also attended church fairs. For example, Mary's Assumption was one example of that. And we wanted to see whether our market in Slovenia is still ready to embrace this fair buy concept. Because fair trade merely speaks about distribution chain relations, while fair buy also adds culture to the entire equation. So whether we as individuals are willing to buy something, whether we contribute to a certain story, and whether by doing so we satisfy certain needs, so local needs or village needs, So why our state has many needs? Why, do, why does it impose so high taxes? Because we delegated responsibility when it comes to taking care of our children, the elderly, which is why our taxes are higher. But if instead uh, we had a different culture of cooperation, taxes would have been smaller. So maybe our labor production wouldn't be as intense. We would need less drugs. So this, in fact, is a vicious circle. And the concept uh, is, in my opinion, the right one. Of course, we set up our cooperative this year. We wanted to apply for funds within the framework of social entrepreneurship so that we would uh, take into account the existing projects by the already established companies. But what is the hardest thing in Slovenia is cooperation, because our e-free model speaks about cooperation between mature companies and individuals. So you transfer responsibility to a different party, and this brunt of responsibility, which you have as an employer, is very difficult to embrace if you want to innovate. But this experimental phase that you include a different group of handicapped, as is the case with our company, is something which is uh, the source of inspiration and uh, living lab. So we do not merely create jobs. We do not just impart skills. But we tease the society, so to speak. We want to have feedback. We want to create equality. And um, this concept has been gaining ground. Results are better. But of course, we are still far from succeed. I also have been an entrepreneur for 23 years. 
and I know very well that it is not possible to have a revolution in the area. But still, you have a lot of bitter pills to swallow before you think that you might succeed. So from that, we need to draw new energy and you can present new things and show that things can be done in a different way. So we also have our bulletin board, supply in a cloud. We introduced 3,000 sketches from our children from eco schools. This was offered to our market as a fair buy. So once the people purchased these products, they knew very well how the profits will be distributed. We wanted to cooperate with children. We cooperated with schools who have a lot of expertise when it comes to waste management and sorting out of waste. This was the right idea. We included uh, our new generation, secondary uh, school children as well as students. Now we will employ the first group of graduates. And they have um, positive experience, which is why they will be able to translate this successful story into practice. I spoke about synergy, which can be found within our cooperative and our cooperative is of entrepreneurial type. When the Act on Social Entrepreneurship was uh, passed in Slovenia, I heard a lot about social entrepreneurship from abroad, namely that the root base is business. So this new economy was not seen as the new economy to distribute profit, but it was seen as the economy, which means that you cannot and should not create profit or generate profit. But all the papers here were in fact great because it is of course necessary to speak about viability of a company. You need to provide permanent jobs, not just pro project based jobs, not just to have jobs which will last for two to three years, no. But uh, you need to make sure that you also impart responsibility so that these people will preserve and maintain their jobs. This is the current state of play. We currently have 43 people. 24 have a contract of indefinite period. When it comes to the handicapped, out of 24, there are about 65% of those. Currently, we have about uh, 10 handicapped with severe problems. So they have a low capacity to work. Then we also have some other types of contract for our workers. Because uh, the legislation is uh, very complex in Slovenia. You need to provide for social integration. And uh, we conclude uh, so so-called so mini-jobs contract so that they remain in the, law, in the labor force. We merely employ one student. And when it comes to our E3 model, we also have one Croatian migrant who was imported. And currently, he is in the United States. He participates in the postgraduate program. So our E3 model is a social franchise model. We learned that our business model has to be even more understandable to the business world when compared to traditional models. So it has to have this franchise characteristic because it imparts a clear message that we comply with standards, that we provide quality, that we are responsible for what we do. A simple rule, if you employ marginalized groups, then very soon you are pushed to these margins and we are not put on equal footing as business partners. As of this year, the state of Slovenia even passed an act which stipulates that the contracting authority is responsible for my work. So this business capacity has been taken away from entrepreneurs, which is why it is very important to find one appropriate model, namely franchise, Uh, 
Professor Vashtic was my supervisor for the master thesis. I thought that we do not have a social franchise model. I was wrong. And of course, for that reason, I believe that E3, social or entrepreneurial and development cooperative, will give a lot of opportunities to the young, educated workforce. They will support all other stakeholders to create new employment and business opportunities. Thank you very much. Thank you. Do we have any questions for Linka Puch? Ne. It seems that this is not the case. And I have chairs if you want to see them, our products. Yes. Yesterday, we started working in the automotive industry within the company of Iskra. We were in charge of exit controls and uh, we set up plastic elements. So outsourcing uh, was not something we opted for, but uh, we had the so-called insource model. And we will have about 20 jobs for the handicapped people. What will be the ultimate form? I really do not know. I will tell you at the end of the project and e-warehousing archiving we had a lot of jobs there then ergotherapy as it has been mentioned by our Italian colleagues we have been able to employ many people with disabilities then cleaning services but not traditional cleaning services as unfortunately is defined in Slovenia but it is offered at high prices so we offer a decent job so this, in fact, is a fair buy. You know, if you hire our cleaning service, that you will have to pay a higher price than taking care of jobs, supplying jobs. So in terms of uh, our German standard, I engage into safety at work. So this is a so-called preventive approach. We have two European directives, uh, green procurement, this is the first one, where we have an impact on developing highly skilled jobs and the prevention and safety at work. We are developing a wide range of services. We provide consultation for healthy food at the job, then exercising. So there is a lot of potential to tap into, and we want to attract young people to come into our cooperative, the young people who are well trained. And we also have a journal called Perfect Office. And we have special editions dedicated to social entrepreneurship. So we offer a wide range of uh, services. And so uh, we, of course, offer a lot of jobs, not just to our cooperative, but to other social entrepreneurs and other cooperatives. If a company approaches you and tells you, I want to cooperate with you, but I'm not interested in your skills, you are just a number, then this is not something we are interested in, but we want to have high quality jobs. So to be ethical, to offer a decent wage, and um, we want to be at the forefront of development when it comes to social franchising. And this is, in fact, of key importance to many people who are not present here today. Thank you.